Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of my story. We're still onto the Mona series with her sophomore year. Let's get on with it. Chapter 32 Toxic. Later that night. So you just quit? I did. I can't take it anymore, Christian. I've been putting up with her bad attitude from the beginning and I hit and and I hit my breaking point. I don't blame you. But you love dancing. I do love dancing. And this year's been amazing. But I can't be around her anymore. She's toxic. I know. She deserves it. And man, I would give anything to have seen you storm out of the studio like that. I'm such a rebel, I regret it. Thanks. I felt su- I felt like such a badass. I've always wanted to do something like that. You probably shocked the hell out of Stacy. I did. You should have seen her face. <laughs> it was like she was choking on the fumes from her hair dye. You know what I think? What? I think you should talk to your dad. He knows his sister better than anyone. That's a good idea. I can talk to him this weekend when you're home. Although I should probably tell my parents to cancel the party. What? No. But what's the point? I'm not on the dance team anymore. It's weird. It's not weird. The party is to celebrate last weekend. That was a huge accomplishment. No matter what happens, that can't be taken away from you. That's true. Besides, our families have gone through a lot of trouble for this party. You can't cancel. Okay, I won't. Jeez, I had no idea you were such a fan of family parties. I'm just really looking forward to this one. A few days later. Have you told your parents yet? I have. They're disappointed but they understand. Well, I hope they convince you to come back. Practice isn't the same without you. Stacy would never let me back. Not after what I did. I wouldn't be so sure. She hasn't been herself lately. A little quiet. Well, as weird as that is, I know the Wicked Witch is still lurking underneath. I'm sure of it. Anyway, you still coming this weekend? Wouldn't miss it. And are you going to bring Hugo? Nope. Wasn't planning on it. That's rude. It's your choice. Well, all right. If you don't want him there, I won't invite him. It's not that. No, it's not that I don't want him there. I just need space to think. But you're taking so much space already. How do you manage any time together? Ha <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, I'm headed to the cafe. Lucky. I've got French. Well then, au revoir. Poor Holly. I hope she figures out what to do about Hugo. Hey, Mona. Garrett? Hey. What's going on? Not much. Long time no see. How's everything going? Congrats on Nationals, by the way. That concert was dope. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. 
So, um, I heard say you're headed to the cafe. Oh, I heard you say. Mind if I walk with you? Do I want to catch up with Garrett? Oh, I'm going to turn him down because it's all I can do at the moment. That'd probably be a bit weird for Christian. Maybe another time. I'm actually waiting for someone. But maybe I can catch you later. Yeah, sure. Definitely. See you around, Mona. Was that Garrett? It was. It was nothing. You don't have to explain. I don't mind if you talk to him every now and again. I trust you. My, my, my. You really have grown up. And that is the last time I underestimate you. Later that week. Mona, the party is in six hours and we still don't have an outfit. Stop sexting Christian and let's get a move on. Okay, okay. My bad. We have to find something nice. I mean nice. Why? It's just a family party at my house. I was planning to wear jeans. Jeans? Today? I don't think so. Why not? It's not dressy enough. Here, try on these. This is a backyard barbecue. Not a cocktail party. Well, you're dressed like a cocktail waitress. I said nice, Mona. This is, it is nice. Sure, if you say so. Besides, we're celebrating you tonight. Okay, what the heck. Everyone is going way over the top of this party. I'm not even on the dance team anymore. I shouldn't be a big deal. It shouldn't be. It is a big deal. What? Are you crying? I'm emotional, okay? I'm just really happy for you. Pull yourself together. <laughs> well, pull yourself together. This is a casual party that barely even deserves a celebration. I'm just so proud of you. And I'm so happy to have you. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. I'm done. Now let's go and find you an outfit. Or a box of tissues. Sonia? It's so good to see you. Ah, there she is. Am I interrupting anything? Not at all. I'm just finishing getting ready. Good, good. I wanted to speak with you before the party started. Oh? Yes. I am guessing that you faced against your wolf. Ah, uh, yes. Stacy. Mm-hmm. I had to, Sonia. I reached the end of my rope. I know. And I saw it coming. But I want you to know one thing. Stacy isn't a bad person. I know that. She's not a good person. Whoa. Well, she's certainly not a good person. She's hateful and rude. This is true. But deep down, to the very core of her, she's good. Whatever she is, she doesn't like me. 
No, not really. Anyway, I'm just saying to let <laughs> to let go for a little bit of that hate in your heart. There is no place for it in a heart like yours. For you, I'll try. That's all I ask. And now, let's go down to this party. There's a man waiting for you after all. And yes, we'll get to that next time round. Until then, though, thanks for watching.